means Susan Killer. Yeah. Uh, can you just give us your job title here at Bibi? I'm an interim marketing analyst. Okay, fantastic. And what are the main uh, responsibilities of that role? Basically, what I'm supposed to do is research the market for Bibi, mm -hmm. the market which Bibi is already in, uh, the market that Bibi wants to go into. So basically, research the customers, the competitors in that industry, and figure out what customers that Bibi can approach for development and growth. Okay, fantastic. Mainly what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I treat, we, well, the company, my supervisors, choose a specific industry that I have to research on, that they want to either increase customers or develop that, the accounts that they have with the original customers. So what I do, I go into industry, I research what customers, what do they do, what products they have, what distributors they have, and how long are their contracts, when are they expiring, and all that stuff. And after I've researched that, I also research on the competitors of Bibi that are servicing the customers. After I've compiled all that information, all that information leads into a sales proposition. It's a uh, slides which I prepare. And then BB managers can take that sales proposition and have a meeting with prospective clients and in hope of getting new business. So basically that's what I do. After that, after researching that particular industry, once that pipeline is running, then I move into another industry and pretty much do the same thing. So it's pretty much um, an internet-based research, but I also get a chance to talk to uh, people within the company who have experience in the industry, and if, uh, if needs be, I can also meet people outside, but specifically it's more of uh, secondary research, which is internet-based research. And how did you actually get into the job? What, where, what was your actual career path to get, get to here? Well, basically I finished my degree this June, and I wanted to do like an internship because I wasn't sure whether I'm going to do my master's afterwards or not. So I wanted to do an internship, especially since I was going to be in the country for the whole summer. And so I applied for an internship, which is a three month internship, which is what I did, which ends this month actually. And so that's what happened. I got the internship as a marketing analyst. Okay, and then the good thing is, um, after three months, which is was to end yesterday actually, today's the first. I managed to secure a one year contract, which is what I'm gonna continue doing for Fantastic. one year until next September. Brilliant. Yeah. And what would you say the best parts of, uh, of the job are? Well, the best part of my job, I think, is the fact that since it's a logistics company and distributes different products, gives me the chance to learn about different industries dairy industry, packaging industry, so I get to have a bit of experience in each industry and that way I can I can kind of be able to map out my career, what I want to do, where and things like that. Excellent. Things. And, wh and what would you say uh, the worst things about the, the job are? The worst thing, I don't know whether to put it that way, but I would say the move from university to a job is can be a bit difficult for anyone, especially because the university is a bit relaxed. I had most of my lectures in the afternoon, so I'd always sleep. <laughs> so it's a bit difficult to kind of get grasp. And I started working here two days after my last exam. So wow. it was a difficult change, but that's the only difficult challenge I can say. But once you get the hang of it, you kind of get used to it. Fantastic. Yeah. And what would your uh, advice be to anybody looking to get into marketing? Into marketing? Well, uh, yeah, you're, you're an analyst, the analyst, to be a marketing analyst. Well, the thing is you have to love researching, you have to love getting to know new industries, getting to know new aspects about the business and everything. And if you don't even love that to begin with, and you don't even love that in university, then there's no there's not really much point because in university that's the biggest part of what I loved about uni I, I did not really like exams very much and I did not do that well in exams but when it comes to courseworks and research that's where I excelled so then I thought this is the area that suits me yeah. so if you love it then it's good if you don't then I wouldn't really suggest it okay brilliant and um, is there anything you could change about your career path so if you had your time again back in school or university, yeah. would you do anything differently? Or? Well, I think experience is good. That's why I wanted to do an internship to begin with. I did an internship in my second year and 
I did an internship again now. But if someone has a chance to do an internship, even from high school, even from, you know, whatever, I would say do it. Because that way, at least you can go back and say, I worked here, I worked here, I worked here. So now I clearly, and I worked in different roles, tried to work in different roles. Because my last internship was marketing, and now I'm doing a market analyst. So it's a bit different. Before I was marketing assistant, and now I'm a marketing analyst. So that helps me understand that, okay, fine. This is what I like from marketing. This is what I like from this, and then I knew what I want to do in the future. So I would say, do as much work experience as you can.